Um, all right, guys, I'm going to type my username and password, log into the uh, Unify, or we can say Ubiquiti or uh, um, Dream Machine Pro. Uh, I'm going to add a new switch where it's dedicated uh, for this specific product, Dream uh, Machine Pro. And that is that the switch that I purchased is also um, be, is the same product of Unify company. So I'm going to type the password. Let me see if I am remember the password. Okay, I'm going to type the password. Let's log in. I connect the switch, guys. Remember that I connect the switch to one of the port of the um, a Dream Machine Pro. So if you look at in here and the right side, add to USW48 port. I do have a 48 port of the uh, Unify um, network switch. If you look at in here, it is uh, offline. But I believe so. I need to download the most uh, recent update for this specific switch. It is uh, USW48 uh, PUE power over Ethernet switch, which is belong to, uh, I can say, Unify company. It is 48 port getting ready. I have to uh, wait to see what's going to happen. But so far, uh, as you notice in here, guys, um, it is uh, getting ready. So, um, just want to wait and then uh, all right click to update i have to click update this is the most recent firmware it may take a time updating right now this is how you can update the us w48 pv power over ethernet uh, network switch which is belong to unified company so the procedure is same as uh, i discussed with the previous uh, uh, video as well if you guys are uh, uh, have a have, have a more passion to uh, learn how to install from scratch from a to z uh, unify uh, or we can say uh, dream machine pro uh, my suggestion is that uh, i will definitely put uh, down description the link click on that one and explain each and everything about this specific product uh, Dream Machine Pro, how to add access point, how to remove access point, how to add multi VLAN, how to add multi SSID uh, with different network broadcast. All right, getting ready. It it seems to me the update is almost over. I should good to go online. All right, so the switch is online. The question is how you connect this. Uh, USW48 port. Guys, just plug any port of that 48 port switch to any port of the uh, Ubiquiti or I can say uh, Dream Machine Pro. It will automatically pick because they are in the same technology and they know because they're same product like Cisco, like other companies, then the same product, they can know one another. In order to configure, here's the thing. What I have done so far, I connect my Ubiquiti or Dream Machine Pro uh, to USW48 port. I connect um, a fiber connection. Okay, guys, as you look at the diagram, now I have a uh, Ubiquiti or you can see Dream Machine Pro with the USW48 port. So double click on this one and All right, there's a two way to configure this one. Um, I click on ports. If you look at in here, neither of these ports are enabled, only port number two, the one which is uh, Ubiquiti is connected to this one. So it is uh, Ethernet, it's uh, power or Ethernet, I can say plus you can use as well. So, so far I'm going to configure port number 49 for port number 50, 51, 52 as a trunk port. And I just want to see um let me i would say auto negotiate is good i don't want to make any uh, changes in here um port number two uh, if you remember guys and the diagram i want to trunk remember that i want to do i want to configure trunk in between ubiquity uh, dream machine pro and this uh, specific network switch so we need to do what we need to find out trunk so if you look at in here i can specify each uh, department but i would say trunk so uh, now um, let's apply confirm 
and then um, now port uh, port number two port number 49 uh, 50 51 52 are a trunk port so uh, that's a beautiful thing now if you have, uh, um, have like let's say if you have a uh, access point uh, which is only dedicated for unify connect in any uh, port of these uh, uh, port of this switch uh, you should good to go but one tip you should keep in your mind is that do not plug your access point to any of these port but you have to make sure you have to make sure you you have to connect sorry you have to connect to any of this port but that port should be trunk guess how because in our scenario uh, we need to uh, broadcast uh, let's say three uh, uh, SSID with with three uh, different broadcast domain so in order to achieve this kind of goal if it's only one access point or one SSID and one network that is good but if you're using multi SSID multi broadcast domain then of course if you connect so now the port number one is connected to your access point and port um, yeah port number one is connected to your access point you have to make sure that the port number one is trunk as well keep in your mind that's why I thought to share with your friend of mine he recently configured the same scenario and he was a stack he said I I see the SSID but I'm not able to connect to any of this uh, network and i say no you should no worry that the port which is connected to the switch should be trunk as well i mean the port the wireless access point port which is connected to the switch should connect to um, the trunk port that is the key so once you uh, connect to trunk port you're good to go with the cisco switch guys the scenario is different with the cisco switch it works with the Cisco switch. If you don't have this, uh, uh, let's say, Unify switch, it works with the manageable switch as well. I have tried with the Cisco switch, L3 switch. Even it doesn't matter, L2 switch. But make sure that the switch does come with a power over Ethernet. If the switch doesn't have a power over Ethernet, because access point, the Ubiquiti machine doesn't have a power over Ethernet if you plug any network, any access point, because access point is power over Ethernet. So remember that. Okay, guys, I hope the information was very helpful. If you think it was very helpful, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and um, subscribe and share this link with your friend, with your family, with your colleagues, with whoever you think they are pursuing such important information. Until next time, stay safe, be brave, and of course, see you guys next time.